What's up everyone? This is Bullshot, back again with another Call of Duty mobile video. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. So in today's video, I am going to be covering the top 5 most powerful custom loadouts to use inside of this Season 6 Battle Royale update. I am going to be ranking these 5 insanely powerful loadouts based on their overall versatility in the battlefield. And I am going to be informing you the best modification attachments you can use alongside these custom gunsmith builds. Now if this is your first time here in my channel, then make sure to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications and be sure to press the like button which is absolutely free for you, but extremely helpful for my channel. And please make sure to hit the like button below as this helps me a lot to make contents like this for you. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Starting at number 5 spot, I have a high accuracy one-shot build for the DLQ-33, which is the best bolt-action sniper rifle available inside of the Battle Royale. It has great overall dynamics, which includes decent sprint speed, good at DS speed, and a huge hitbox multiplier. Being able to one-shot knockout when hitting the upper body, this sniper rifle is one of the best choices for going longer ranges. Unlike the XPR-50 or the LW-3 Tundra, the DLQ-33 deals very high damage with infinite damage range, and it is very satisfying to use in long-range engagements. Here is the best custom gunsmith loadout of this bolt-action sniper rifle, which is equipped with the signature magazine attachment. It is a pretty well-rounded custom sniper rifle that can give you guaranteed knockouts in the Battle Royale. For the mods with this DLQ-33 build, I am recommending you to use the Sniper Extended Magazine mods, the Fast ADS mods, and most importantly, the Sniper Expert mods, to get the most effective results possible. Then, coming at number 4 spot, I have a one-shot build for the BY-15. This is a mid-tier pump shotgun, which deals a ton of damage in close-quarter engagements. In this season's update, the BY-15 is highly effective than the other shotguns, and it has incredibly higher one-shot potential than the rest of the options. The BY-15 has hip-fire type pellet spread and high pellet travel range, allowing it to one-hit kill enemies at very long range. However, such tight pellet spread requires players to be accurate in order to land all pellets on enemies and avoid hit markers. It has very fast rechamber speed which accounts for its very high rate of fire. Here is the best custom gunsmith build of the BY-15, which gives you improved damage range from the suppressor attachment. And the MIP laser gives you incredibly high hipfire accuracy. Anyways, for the mods with the BY-15, I am recommending you to use the long barrel mods for the shotguns, the fast ADS mods and the long range mods to get the best results possible. Now, coming at number 3 spot, I have a close to mid-range build for the brand new BP-50. This is a high-performance bullpup assault rifle, chambered with 5.56 magazine. The BP-50 can be a great alternative, as well as the greatest rival of the AK-117, which is a pretty similar option to use in the Battle Royale. This weapon can tear down the competition with a high rate of fire and exceptional accuracy for dominating at medium to long-range engagements. Here is the best custom gunsmith build for the BP-50, which is highly compatible for medium to long-range engagements, it is a suppressed loadout, with pretty much zero recoil issue, and this build comes with the classic red dot sight as well. For the mods with the BP-50, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the long range mods, and the vertical recoil control mods to get the most effective results possible. Then, coming at number 2 spot, I have a close-range hipfire build for the Switchblade X9 which is a pretty powerful submachine gun to use inside of the Battle Royale. The Switchblade X9 is a recently added lightweight prototype weapon with reliable damage and good firing control. It has improved handling speeds with a higher fire rate 
which is pretty comfortable to control up to a pretty decent range. The overall recoil is moderate, with a little bit of inconsistency, and the hip-fire accuracy of this submachine gun is by far the most accurate one. It is a rather low damage per bullet weapon however, at 9 meters, it is able to achieve a 4 to 5 hit kill consistently to the entire body. Here is the best gunsmith build for the Switchblade X9. This build has high fire accuracy and magazine improvement, making it perfectly compatible for close range engagements. Anyways for the mods with the Switchblade X9, I am recommending you to use the hipfire boost mods, the long range mods, and the extended magazine mods to get the best results possible. Now before we get to the number 1 spot, I have a close to medium range build for the M13, as the honorable mention. This assault rifle is slightly harder to use but better than the Maddox or the Kilo 141. The M13 is one of the above average assault rifles, compared with other assault rifles like the M4 or the FFAR-1. However, it is also one of the most balanced assault rifles to use. The M13 sports a decent time to kill at close to mid-range with its default ammunition although the recoil pattern is obvious, but it can be easily controlled. Here is the best custom gunsmith build for the M13, which is highly compatible for close to mid-range engagements. It is a high-performance loadout with pretty much zero recoil issue, and the overall accuracy of this build is pretty compact as well. For the mods with the M13, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the vertical recoil control mods, and the long range mods to get the most effective results possible. And finally, coming at number one spot, I have a hybrid loadout for the AK-117 which is a moderate damage per bullet weapon, which always has been an extremely popular assault rifle in the Battle Royale, known for its high accuracy and rapid fire rate. Its versatility makes it a top choice for both close and mid-range engagements. The AK-117 has many different recoil patterns which randomly takes place in each trigger pull. All patterns have overall low recoil magnitude with slight horizontal deviations. Here is the best custom gunsmith build for the AK-117 which is highly compatible for close to mid-range engagements. It is a suppressed loadout with pretty much zero recoil problem and this build comes with the classic red dot sight as well. Anyways, for the mods with the AK-117, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the vertical recoil control mods, and the hip fire boost mods to get the most effective results possible.